Hi everybody, this is Deborah Stroop and Jim Stroop. Uh, we are on our break right now, so we thought we'd do a video of uh, the C-Link machine. I know that if uh, that we didn't have a video to, to watch when we were first starting on the truck, driving the truck, so uh, we're hoping that this will help you uh, to get started and be a little bit more comfortable once you do get into your new truck. So the first thing um, that we're looking at is the C-Link, and it's got uh, messaging, hours of service, the driver login, your vehicle inspection, navigation, and those are the, the most of the keys that you'll be using um, the whole time you're on the truck. So say for example you're getting into uh, the truck for the first time, you're going to go to your driver login and click it on. Now it's going to say here that you're going to log in for the very first time. It doesn't show that now because we are logged in actually we've been logged in so uh, the prompts are very easy for you to follow to log in and that will put uh, the driver ID for both of your drivers um, and showing which one is active and which one is not so every time that you change drivers you're going to need to do this first um, so for example Jim is um, active right now and I want to be because we're switching so what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to hit the change button. And it says on there that Deborah Stroop will replace Jim Stroop as the active driver. So then we would want to say OK. And then this is going to put in your code. Um, hold on just a second. Let me put my code in. OK. And then it'll also say OK. So we want to say OK. And then see, now I am active and Jim is not. So I'm gonna switch him back uh, because he's, he is gonna be driving. So you'll want to do that every time um, that you're gonna do that first to begin with. So. And then say, okay. All right, so then that means that Jim is active. So uh, then we're going to, to get out of it, you're going to hit your home button again. Um, as you're looking at the buttons, this will always take you back to the screen. And uh, these here will is your uh, brighten button, so it'll make the brightness uh, more. And then the bottom one will be the uh, brightness less. Over here is the volume. Uh, so if you want the ceiling to talk to you, you can have it with louder or not so loud. So now that you have logged in what you want to do is you want to go to the hours of service and right now Jim is off duty on a break and it shows you all of the information it shows he's off duty what time he started and the duration this is what you're going to be watching uh, to take your 30 minute break actually you want to do it 31 minutes and it just shows you all this other information so now if you want to change that um, just hit your change button and then it shows off duty, sleeper berth, or on duty. So when you hit off duty, you're going to come over here to the remarks and it's going to show you. Um, well, let's hold on just a second. I don't want to, I don't want to take him off because he's on a break. But you'll hit your remarks over here and then you'll scroll all the way to the bottom. Um, it has different remarks of different things that you're going to be doing, like um, uh, fueling or um, a DOT inspection, that type of thing. And then the bottom one is a rest break. So every time that you go on your 30-minute break, we do the rest break. Now when it comes time to um, log, you know, log in for the night, uh, or he's going to go off duty and into the sleeper, then you'll hit sleeper berth and then um, change it um, so if you want to do on duty when he gets done with his 30 minute break you would hit on duty and then it would say okay over here so that is everything every time that you stop uh, for a break or you're going to change drivers you're going to need to do this screen so then we're going to go back to the home screen okay so we showed you this uh, driver login and the hours of service. The next thing you'll want to know is your navigation. I'll just push that button. Now on ours, um, we have, it shows up here at the top, 
um, the driver the time that they have. So right now, because Jim is um, the active driver, he has five hours and 22 minutes of driving time left. So once he comes off of his break, then that will change to a little bit more time for him to drive. Now, as far as doing, um, say for example, you have um, a new load that you've got and you wanna put the information in. So you're gonna hit that little button right here and it's gonna give you different options, whether you want a 3D map, uh, detour, and that type of thing. Um, so you would go to your main menu and your address, because you wanna plug in your address. So it's gonna show you enter city or zip code. So right now we're gonna enter where we're going. Okay, hold on just a second. Okay, so it's in a space center. So this is where we wanna go. So that's, it brings everything up that we want. And because there's the, no road number, it's not gonna, um, we need to skip that part. So hold on just a second because it doesn't have a number. So then it's going to calculate for you. And you can see right here that it's gonna, it's going to the wrong spot so I want to go back so so just for example I missed it so I'm going to edit the trip okay so now I want to go back to my address and this is I mean basically how you do it so just a second See, now you got because you can go backwards because if you misspelled something like I did <laughs> it's hard to look at this and this camera at the same time okay so we're gonna do this enter the street name And then you hit, hit go. So then that shows you uh, what your trip is going to be. Um, so and it tells you the directions uh, where you are now and where you're going to be going. You're going to be turning there in 250 feet, and it shows how much mileage is on that uh, trip that you have. All right. So then we're going to get back out of that. And then the last button I want to show you is the messaging. The messaging shows you the inbox. And this is all the information from uh, dispatch. So it has all your route information, what your miles and pay are, your directions, and any other additional information. You can scroll up and down over here at this part. Uh, the outbox is anything that you've sent to them uh, to back to dispatch. And then this is compose if you want to, um, whenever you get ready to compose, um, like you're, you've arrived at your stop, you would hit arrival, uh, depart pickup, and these are the things that you're gonna do every time that you stop, get a load, and then uh, deliver the load. So it's very self-explanatory uh, whenever you get to do any of those. And then we just go back to the home button. If you have um, a little, this little sign right here, that means you, you need to have an inspection done on your vehicle. Um, so you're going to hit the vehicle inspection button right here and you, you want to make sure that you always inspect your vehicle before you go on a load or, and just check everything over. Um, so you want to do a new VIR and these two lines are okay but this one is empty so we want to remove that and then there's just those two lines that are fine and you're going to see over here that it says next. 
and we want to make sure that we check all of these areas here when we do our inspection so that uh, we can make sure that there are no defects. So right now there are no defects and it says no defects. Okay. And it says I have examined uh, vehicle and trailers indicated including the parts and accessories and it's it you're just saying that you're signing this and then you would hit submit VIR and then you would also submit it again And then it will come up again if you need to do another one. So then you'll just go back to your home button. All right, well, we hope that this has helped you. And um, if you have any notes or questions at all, I'm sure that um, the ladies at XM Transport would be more than happy to help you. And I know that you'll probably get um, something from FedEx that tells you uh, how to work the, the C-Link so you'll get a, a sheet as well. So you have a great rest of your day and we'll talk to you soon.